Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Your Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Overwatch 2 replays are not showing and how you can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game as an administrator. So we have two methods to run the game as an administrator. Either we can go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the browse. That will redirect us to uh, us to this particular folder. Now, if you check over here, this is the application. So select this one, right click, and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties, go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. So this is what you have to do as the first step. Most cases, this might be working. So if that is not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to do is we just need to check the server status because if the server status is having any kind of issue or if they're going through any kind of outages we'll be having these kind of issue so we just need to check whether we are going through any kind of server issues via twitter via facebook we'll have we'll be having all the latest social media accounts where you can check onto it or if that is not the case we can try with the next one that is all about we need to update the overwatch too so most probably you'll be getting the update option if any updates are there. So if the update is not there, we can update, we can make one change in the setting that just go to the game over here, right click, go to the properties, go to updates over here. Right now, as you can see, just select this one. So we are having three options. Always keep this game updated. Only update this game, uh, this game when I launch it and high priority always auto update this game before others. So you can keep this, always keep this game updated and once you set this up, we can launch the game and most probably that will be working fine. So if that is not the case, we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to repair the game file, which means we have to go for verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the install it file and we just need to click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a bit of time because it will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, we'll be having this particular trouble. So just uh, do with this and once you're done with this one, try launching the game. If that is not working, we will move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to allow the game to window security. So we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to the control panel. We have to go to system and security. We have to go to windows and defender firewall. Go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall and keep scrolling down and navigate to O. So that is we have to go to overwatch 2. So keep scrolling down and if you find overwatch 2 over here. So if you are able to find anything over here and we are done with this one. So uh, most probably you'll be able to find it. So if the game is not added there, we can add it by default. So just click on the change settings, go for allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here, if you find the overwatch 2 over here, you'll be able to find the overwatch. Select this one, go for overwatch and open it and add it. So it is getting the error because it's already added. Once you add this, just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. If that is not working, we can try with the last step that is all about we have to perform a clean boot. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Go to system configuration, go for services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. So if you wanted to go for restart, the users who are watching this, go for restart. The rest users can go for exit without restart. Once afterwards, try launching the game. And these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with Overwatch 2 is having this particular issue. I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.